Alright. Hello again all. I'm not sure what the date is today. I think it's about uh <coughs> Oh god, let's find that out for you in a bit. It's a gorgeous May Day. Down at Grimshaws again. All set up I've got uh I know I always say this. I've got two against the far reads. One on obviously the control bait, which is obviously Dennis's uh I think it's I don't know it's main line I think wafter or something, uh, pineapple wafter. It smells gorgeous. I got one on my own. Uh, the difference from last time is it has been gloved in both liver hydro, but now I've put some like uh, gloved it in the was it green lip muscle essence. Uh, I have got a cigarette uh, and that's on a um, uh, Baitworks Monster Red. But that's roughly in the middle, so I'll probably keep moving that around and that till later and then I might uh, like I said I might just uh, change it around and probably cast it over the far side somewhere. I've not chucked any bait in yet. Uh, it's definitely warmer today which I'm loving. Uh, yeah it's just nice I mean got me a video already set up. <laughs> I've actually done it slightly different this time. Uh, I don't know whether I've watched the videos where basically you put your ground sheet down. It's a, well, I should say, it's an aqua. Was it M3? Uh, it's an aqua M3. I'm not sure. But anyway. Uh, and anyway, but I watched a video where you put the ground sheet down. First of all, then you put the uh, bed chair on top of it. Then you up, because with aqua you've got like these up to onto the ground sheet instead of having like the tension strap up you call it. So I've done that, then I put the uh, pegs in the front part, pulled it up, put pegs in the back and then put the tension bars in. And, well from what you can see it looks good, it looks lovely. Colin me it's going at night with red art. <laughs> uh, right, fish signs wise. Yeah, I should say that. Over the past couple of days, according to Nembo and his sources, there's meant to be 20 odd assorted fish out. I think a 23 come out as well. So, congratulations to obviously Colin Hart. Uh, so, it's looking a little bit more promising last time, than last time I've come. It's basically the, what differences have I done? Dennis laughing. He's probably on the phone against someone. Uh, differences I've made because last well this, the past two times I've been fishing I've always said what I thought was wrong but I didn't connect so yeah it might I'm not saying it hasn't but it might have been established line right but just in case I have actually swapped well I made some turbo German rigs which are a bit like a Ronnie rig but uh, but we've also was it a uh, the boom as well, so that's a chance of tangles. Uh, and I'm quite happy how they turned out, really. I mean, I did use to use them as like snow rig style, you know, where you can use like, well, you know, two boilers and one, one shot. Uh, but this time I use it a single boiler. Sorry, I thought I just saw a fish jump. I think it's a bird in the reeds. Mm. Anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, so it's warm when there's been fish out, so I am more confident. Oh, God, he's here. I am more confident. I know, mate, the bloody braid on it, look. And that braid's worth to cost 20 odd quid. I did, and I did have a shock lead on it as well. You need one of my apples? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a bit weird that net, though. I, I, I mean, you, if you look, you'll see how it goes here, but it's, it's nice, it just looks nice. Yeah. I'll have to put the temperature thing in a minute, Dennis, I reckon. Yeah. So I'm happy where I've got the baits, it's just here, let me show you this Dennis. Yeah. Smell that. I put out to carry the liver hydro. I know. Hopefully I could try and like spot them in later. Am I right to have some uh, pellets off you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh. 
I, I don't know yet. I, yeah, I, I might do a couple in a bit and then a few more later. Mm. What's that? Oh, I think that's about it. I'll let you. Uh, I'll swap the camera around. Here we go. Yeah, I know, same spot again. Unpredictable. I mean, we were debating because there was quite a few free spots. We were debating where to actually go. Uh, I mean, Dennis has changed his spot. Dennis is normally. Yeah, let's have a look. I'll show you. Well, then it's normally on that side, if you know what I mean. I know, I shouldn't really use a finger. <laughs> uh, but I'm in the same spot, but now that it's on the opposite side, on the right hand side. So, you never know. And, uh, yeah. So, I have brought a new, few new things. Uh, what have I brought? I brought some Lou Landing that it's a. Uh, I think it's uh, a Sonic, I think it's RS or RX Dominator. It's a gorgeous land in there. Uh, I brought some new spod rod, but I got my own spod reel in. I tried casting out on it, the spod rod's lovely. Uh, I tried casting out on it, and I think the braid ain't strong enough. So look there, and he lost the lead. So I might end up, uh, I might have to get some more good braid or something. Uh, I also brought a barrow, but I didn't. I think it's on this side, you don't really need to use a barrel, but it's just in case you know wanna wanna come down again probably. So yeah. I'm happy it's gorgeous and it's nice to get out again. Oh, I did buy as well some like thermal inlines for the uh, wellies, so hopefully I shouldn't get water too warm there. Yeah. I'll let you watch, watch the water over anyway. Yeah, the uh, sink's about three foot off the bottom. So where it is, it should be about seven foot from the surface. Okay. I've got four cobs, so I've got two cobs in the morning. I thought you said you had bread. I didn't, but... I still think it's a bit too warm even to have a cup of tea. I was tempted to make a cup of tea, but... Yeah, I don't And I didn't bring cold, I should have done. Gorgeous day there, mate. Yeah. Nice to be out again. What's it, nice? You know, so we're, we're actually going to have to stop coming fishing together, you know, Dennis, I reckon. Feels like old times, mate. Uh, eh? Hey? What? what? No, I couldn't, that's another thing I fucking couldn't find. I think it's for that somewhere. No, you know the uh, indicator? You know how it's got the thing what comes out? That goes under the alarm. That's what I think he's lost, or it's the art. Yeah, that's what it's... He, he he did rush home now. He rushed home with me knees sort of thing, but you know. You got a spare packet of Chris? I don't bring Chris I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm on a health kit, mate. Oh, no. I know. I'll be too. Anyway, you shouldn't be bothered about food, you shouldn't be bothered about fish. And I'm Mark, nice to meet you. That's Dennis. Yeah. I feel confident today. I mean, I've got them where I want to. And, you know, I'm a I'm going to chuck a bit of bait in later and uh, so yeah.
Mi faccio un po' una idea. Io penso già, no, io sento di dire anche. Yeah, right. Take this off and let me show you this. Here, I want to spot out with a few pellets. And what we're doing. Here you go. They made boilers. They're, I'll show you. They are my GLM boilers. Well, green lip muscle ones. It's just a mixture of different fish meals. So I'm actually using them up. I mean, I'm happy with them. I'm actually using them up because uh, I've sort of slightly changing the recipe a bit because there's loads of different calculators and that on the internet about you know how much boilers cost and well sorry how much it costs you to make and things like that don't take into account the time you put in though uh, and the different ingredients but there was one that I noticed that obviously as we all know every animal needs the right sort of balance of amino acids and all that malarca and when I put my boiler in uh, sorry, this these boilers in it's slightly lacking. So I've changed the recipe slightly. So it's a, and I mean yeah, it's still a similar thing. It's just different ratios of it. Uh, and you know, someone try that. But anyway, I'll say bye for now. This way, young video. Well, just cast it in. On one of my rigs, the bastard, and it's gone. Ah, oh, it seems to be here though. Does it feel nice, Dennis? <laughs> Are you sure it's a carp? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, the fish is a fish. And at least you have, hey, are your lucky t-shirts working? Hang on, do you want me 12? Hang on, let me pause that. Not bad, just casting and fucking gets it. Lovely little, I love this scale, so lovely little mirror. What, we're gonna say 10? Look, it's big thing though, mate. I know, it's gorgeous, God. Lovely. That, that'd be gorgeous when it's bigger. Not bad though, mate, not bad. Nice little fish. Congratulations. And I'm getting wet, so I'm going to sign off. Right, well, I know people. Bit of an update. I remember just had one beef on me, Rob. That's probably the rain you can hear. Uh, Dennis, he's waiting. Oh, Mark, Mark, come here, you know. Went round and he had a lovely fish, a lovely light. I know it's a gorgeous grey mirror, about ten pound. He <laughs> took all these other bloody rods out. But the weird thing is, when I was trying to sort these other rods out. I did feel a bit of pulling and we've got two of these rods out but the other one it's like weeded itself up which is weird because the fish didn't even go over that far and he didn't even cast there so it seems like he might have had another fish on but it's talking straight in the fucking reason on the other side yeah. me nothing about right in it oh god if she knows and the rain's come down. Still, I'm still confident. I mean, he actually caught that fish more than that rig, so it's always a good one. Yeah. Oh, I'll sign off for now anyway. Well, that's eventful. A little bit of an update, I suppose. Uh, just recasting all mine back in. Not quite in the areas I was planning to, but they're over there, they're in the position, that's it. Just staying there. Uh, yeah, it's weird. Don't force some happening there, but it's ducks. <laughs> no, weird, because I mean, like, I don't know if I would have said, but basically, it felt when I was bringing Dennis's lines in because they're all tangled, it felt like they felt like there was a fish on it. And so I was a bit sort of, you know, uh, I, th I thought, nah, nah, it's just a line bumping along the bottom, you know, you do. Uh, but. Then when I come to actually sorting that one out because we left that one till last, 
because it felt like it was snagged. Uh, we worked out, Dennis went in in front of my spot, and the line, it stretched all the way from Dennis's, which is, hang on, let me turn this around a bit. All the way from Dennis's, which is just through that edge there, you could just probably see the gap. All the way here, right in front of my spot, under my line, so I had to bring mine in. And then in front of that weed bed over there. So, must be no fucking fish by the big level ones. Oh, they're bloody dead. But he lost all his rigs anyway, so. Well, he lost his rig on that one. So, yeah, I mean, I got mine out, spot on the money where I wanted them, so that's it. I do, I'm gonna like. I don't know if I'm gonna recast again. So I do like where they are. But I'm gonna try and spot a bit in later, so we're, uh, you know, quite happy about that, so. Well, give more practice. But, I mean, my casting today's been on par. I just nearly got caught in the bloody reason. I think it looked like it come out. So. Yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy. I mean, yeah, I haven't had one yet, but... <laughs> Still, anyway, you're back. Past eight at night, and oh, hang on. I'll do that. <laughs> it helps if you don't have your light fingers over the uh, microphone. Hello, all. I'll repeat that. Hello, all. It's twenty past eight at night, and oh, yeah, I've had fuck all. I mean, I'm still sort of hopeful. I mean, it's a bit of a weird one, but having downpours every so often, so. And that, oh, there's fish out there. And that's made the, uh, obviously with the water, it being quite cold, and that's made the water even colder. Dennis has, uh, God knows what Dennis has bloody done. What's he done? Oh, yeah, he's lost his spawn, lost his spawn. Uh, snapped off once or twice. So even he's doing well. No signs up to yet of any more fish there. I mean, I had a couple of beeps on me. Little fish, and a couple of beeps on me. Uh, see, green. I've not had any beeps all day on my other eggs, which is a bit disgusting. I mean, I'd like the thing is, this time of night it normally changes where you do start getting little bits of indication, but I've not at the moment. So, I'm not sure, I mean, it could still change, but we will see. Okay, then bye for now. Well, <coughs> so, morning all. 
<laughs> Just had a lov lovely bacon and mushroom cob. What was that set up in the morning? It's now about 20 past 7, uh, things to report. Not really a lot, I mean, I did finally. I know this might sound a bit mad. Finally, after about 11 months of fishing on there, I finally had number fish. It's only a small stock here, but you know, I think about eight pound. So, but you know, it's a fish and it was on my own made bait. Uh, Dennis has had nothing, apart from the two fish yesterday. I mean, what, I've talked to a few people, what people said is, because it's not normal, normal I should have said. Well, not normal, so it's like go them moves without a fish. But I mean, in that time, I have progressed not in regards to bait making, but more in my own sort of fishing skills. I mean, I wasn't used to like, I weren't used to like casting where you need to get to uh, to catch fish here. It doesn't seem that far, I know, but. But I did have, I could never get there, but I, you know, I can now, so that's a plus in my favour. But the other side of it is, uh, well, we've had me bait, but it's making me thinking it's a year, it's a year too long, should I give up? And I mean, I don't want to, because obviously you achieve more when you make your own bait and things like that. But, there probably should be a time that you give yourself to try and get there and I think I am, I don't want to but I think I'm reaching that end. So with that in mind, I've just brought some new bait, sorry some new boiling ingredients should I say. And I'm still trying to use what I've got left in the old boilers. Uh, so I mean once I've made the bait up from the other ones I'm gonna see between obviously then until I finally get to the last lot whether I do carry on catching on my own bait pardon me that cob on my own made bait and then if not after that then I'm uh, going to see uh, well probably choose another bait because to be honest I am I could buy the same bait, or make the same bait, no, buy the same bait, for the same price as what I'm making my own bait at the moment. Yeah, I can buy the gloves and that, but, you know. So, and also, I'm using time to actually make them as well. But, we'll see. I mean, I still, I'm still quietly confident in my own way. It's like I said, last time I come down here, I had an indication, but made me wriggling quite right, so I didn't actually catch that one. But this time, with the up rigs I'm using, it nailed it straight where it's meant to be. So I was more than happy about that. So now I know, in this particular instance, that my rigs work. So, and Dennis is also used to doing my rigs, so obviously for his two fish so I mean the evidence is like stacking up in my head we should I say about the rigs working so I'd like to think now it should trapping the right word should actually see me hopefully catching more fish if I don't then that may be saying that uh, that bait I'm using or my own boy boy this is probably still not quite right yet and I could be spending like what someone said uh, I could be spending years trying to get it right and in them years I'm actually missing out if you think about it I'm probably missing out on catching fish 
That's what I mean, you see, I'm still... I still think bait companies, it's like everything else, they're not just bait companies. But bait companies, they obviously make their own baits, they like big it up and all that, they can do this, can do that, got attract and so that lot. And then they start using big words like olfactory and gustatory and all that malarkey. Yeah, you know it's bait manufacturing there is. And so I know, without anything else, probably a lot of them trying to learn with the shit. I mean, I'm not saying they don't work, and they do work, because I've fished them and caught on them, but... I still don't think... a lot of baits were what they like. Uh, make out to what they be, if you know what I mean. Like, they, they might say just this and this and that. I'm not saying it don't, but I know from my own bait making that you could add a little bit of something in there and then you could say your bait does that. It's like there's some of the quantities or something, I mean, I use, for instance, I use, what is it, 50 grams of a green and muscle essence in a one kilogram mix, which is, look what it's that quick. I think it's one in twenty, and that's meant to be a high attractant for fishing. That so, it's dead easy. Sorry, ducks. <laughs> it's dead easy to put something in a bait and say it contains it. Uh, so, I mean, I suppose that's why. It's not just that; it's a sense of achievement. That's why I did want to actually make my own bait just to prove that an everyday should I say layman or whatever could actually uh, produce a bait that could catch yeah, but we'll see not quite sure what bait to go for though once I've actually finished making the should I say current batch and finished using it I've used bait wheels before but I don't want to go back to them I'm liking the look of a uh, DNA and mainline. I mean, a lot, a lot of bait companies out actually have supplied their own base mates, and that does make it work out cheaper. Uh, so it could be that. I mean, that could be the option. Mm. Yeah. Well. I think I'm going to sign off for now because basically it's meant to be raining later so it's in about 20 minutes or so we've we'll probably got to pack up well sorry start to pack up uh, just so we like to the rain if you know what I mean mm. but I wasn't expecting that fish last night but I caught one I mean, it was nice it was right over the far side it was going all over the place even though it was a small fish uh, so I enjoyed it, it's nice to actually have a bend in your rod again as the, you know, finger, and uh, so yeah, it's been good, let's hope this might be a sign of it, of me bait working, it's crazy though, I mean, another thing to say is, I've got the control bait over there, and I've not had any indication on that. So it's that saying my bait was in the right spot and the controller wasn't. And the things I've known the control bait, and I know that does catch. <sighs> anyway, bye for now, but obviously, any more updates, and uh, I'll let you know.